Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a more baseline Mazda CX-50 to see if this is a great, affordable car to buy. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Orem Mazda here in Orem, Utah, for giving me some time with this CX-50. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below, so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 24 around town and then 30 on the highway with power outputs being 187 horsepower and then 186 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end of the CX-50, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the distinctive lines there on either side and then also in the center. And it has this very kind of like boxy look. I really like it. And then popping down below, sorry about the lighting, but you guys can see the lights look really cool. And then look at the blacked out like smiley face, I guess is what we'll call it there for the grill. And then the rest of the grill is also blacked out the Mazda logo in the center. And then I like this trim off to the side. That's also cool. Putting it all together for a more quote unquote baseline car, it has a really good looking front end. Now coming on the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 225, 65, 17 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels completely blacked out and that's quite a bit of sidewall on the tires. I'll be interested to see how the ride quality is because of that. Got these big chunky fender flares and then that bodywork continues along the side. Notice the door handles are body painted and then the mirror caps are actually blacked out. And then here's your full side view with the CX-50. The contrast between the black lower section and the white upper section looks really cool. Now here's a quick look at the key fob. You got the Mazda logo there on the back, lock and unlock function. Then you've got that to sound the alarm at the bottom. And popping into the rear, first off, hydraulic with the hatch. And secondly, look at this cargo area. It is absolutely massive. It's one of the cool things about the CX-50. Notice we've got these controls here to, or latches rather, to throw down these seats. I don't know why I said controls. Anyways, spare tire underneath as well. And then when you're all done, you can actually lock the car from the rear, as you can see, but just plop. Now I've got these cool looking tail lights here and then look at the trim there at the bottom. It's fake, but it looks cool. Anyways, all of your badges here on the back and then we got dual outlet exhaust tips. And wrapping things up, let me know what you guys think about the looks, but again, for more of a quote unquote entry level package, this thing looks really good. Now popping inside, this is quite impressive. You guys can see soft touch here and where you rest your arm and I like the chunkiness of the door handle. And then take a look at these seats, soft touch on the outside and you've got the cloth inserts there on the center. And then legroom back here is actually really good. We've got some vents here in the back, USB action, cup holder armrest as well. You get a little storage pocket there on the passenger side. And then headroom, solid. Now taking a look at the front door panel, it's actually hard touch here at the top, but soft touch down below. And this is kind of interesting. <laughs> Anyways, more soft touch here. We've got all of our window controls, which actually look very premium. Same thing with the mirror adjustments. And then you guys can see blind spot running with the mirrors. Now look at the front seat again, soft touch there, and then you've got the cloth inserts. The seat is manually adjustable and you got this for the trash control and that's for some of the safety tech. And then same thing as here. It's, I don't know what it is, but it makes an interesting sound. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, very premium looking. I mean, especially look at the finish on all of the controls. Um, but yeah, nice soft touch all around. It's Mazda's signature three spoke design. And then you guys can see here with the controls there on the back. Now here's the gauge cluster in the center. You guys can see we've got that screen there in the center, which we can use to see a little bit of information here on the car. Pretty cool setup overall. And then we do have our drive modes. We got our sport normal and off-road mode, just like other CX-50s. In reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines here. You guys can see resolutions, pretty good. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, um, just like other Mazdas, it's not controlled uh, via touchscreen functionality at all. It's all controlled with a dial, but they keep things simplistic with the different menus you can go through. And it's always easy to kind of scroll back to the main uh, menu. You guys will see that in a moment. But yeah, there's the infotainment system. Now, surprisingly, it's actually soft touch here at the top of the dash. Did not expect this in this segment. Usually it's like hard touch plastic at the top of the dash and then more soft touch across. <laughs> you guys can see this trim with the vents there on either side. And then we got our climate controls down below. Dual zone climate, again, also unexpected, which is really nice. And then you guys can see here at the storage, got some cup holder action. 
Shifter for that six speed automatic. We've got a drive mode select right next to it. And then you guys can see the parking brake auto hold. And then this is the little dial here to control everything in the screen. And then you guys can see the radio control and the shortcut buttons around it. And then we've got the center console that kind of pops open like that. And then you guys can see the storage in front of the center console, by the way. Nice padding, again, on the top. And then with the glove box, it's pretty big. So here's a window sticker for this CX-50. This is a CX-50 2.5 S Select, for those of you that are wondering. Um, base MSRP is 30,300. We've got a few options, not a lot, and then destination. Total MSRP 32,225. And wait for it. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, which you can do with blast monitoring, and throughout the rest of the rear. And CX50 away. Um, I'm really uh, grateful that the Aura Mazda not only orders, you know, the nice fancy packages, but they also order some of the, you know, more affordable packages like this. Obviously, it's great for reviews, but it's cool because I don't know. I feel like Mazda dealers, like for the most part, from what I've seen, it seems like they. I don't know, you know, based on, you know, past experience, seems like they order like a lot of the expensive stuff. But anyways, setting off. Yeah, I mean, good right off the bat. I will say these seats are very comfortable. So I'm actually a huge fan of seats with multiple different materials um, on them, just because of like the multiple textures, it feels good. But I don't know, for some reason, it seems like they're usually more comfortable than seats that just have one material and i think it's just because of how the materials are stretched like if you have one material sometimes automakers will kind of like stretch the material over more so it'll be tighter on the padding whereas with this since it's multiple materials you can't really do that right so it, it because things aren't as stretched as far like you can sink into the padding more hopefully that makes sense hopefully that makes sense anyways um this engine's really responsive right off the bat good Good torque. Um, again, that's not the exciting turbocharged engine you can get with the CX-50, but I mean, it's it's a, it's a good powertrain. Um, quiet, I mean, this has all of the normal Mazda stuff. The steering has kind of a nice, fun feel to it. It feels very premium, but um, you also kind of have this like directness with the steering as well. And uh, while we wait here for a moment, um, some other stuff here, I will say I'm, I'm super like impressed. And again, I don't know what this material is. Let me know if you know in the comment section below. It's on the seats too, but like it's, it's just impressive all the soft touch trim that they have in this interior. It just makes it feel more premium. <laughs> Not necessarily the fastest on the planet, but I mean, that's, it's a respectable acceleration. If I do say so myself. Um, normally I go in with that turn, but since there's a lot of traffic, we're going to turn a little bit early. Anyways, to wrap things up here with this CX-50, you know, the baseline package, or more, more baseline package. I think it looks great. I think it drives well. I think it comes with a lot of good features for the money. Um, I, I don't really have any, I don't have anything bad to say about this. I think that they, I think this is a really good package. Is that Meridian? Looks like it. Those are cool. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this more quote unquote baseline package with the CX-50. And let me know if, um, like like what you think about this compared to the competition, like the, you know, more baseline CRV and uh, RAV4. Again, this, even though it's more baseline package, it still has like an upscale feel. And that's something that I really appreciate with Mazda.